Hey, I'm Angie. I'm Rhonda. We are Adventures in Nomadness. We just had an epic hike on the Matanuska Glacier. We want to share that with you. And more importantly, we want to share the number one tip for making this the best experience you can have. So we're at the Matanuska Glacier and we're gonna go do a glacier tour today. And so this is kind of a, an interesting scenario going on here. Um, number one, I've, I've belonged to a Facebook hiking group that has raved about this tour. And so you get to walk around on the glacier and, and stuff. So this uh, there's a person that actually owns the access to this and uh, this is their business. Uh, so they used to have a, a kind of a roped off area where you can do your own your own walk basically but as I just overheard him saying the glacier's gotten smaller that area where you could do a self tour has gotten smaller and people started being idiots and going off the trail and going off into other spots of the glacier and glaciers can be very dangerous so they've stopped doing any of your own tours and they're doing this by by guided tour only at this point so you pull into here it's about a mile off the Glen Highway uh, you pull into here check in and then we're going to be going through that gate here in a second and uh, then we've got another two miles to drive and then we'll hit another little shack I guess where we check in there and then we go do our tour.
what are you doing? Putting on exfoliant. It's a nice glacial feature. Oh, it's very soft. <laughs> Would you like some? No, I okay, guess okay. It's also a nice natural sunscreen. <laughs> oh, there you go. We should put some on for sunscreen. <laughs> That was pretty awesome today. What'd you think? It was awesome. Uh, our guide was very knowledgeable and learned a lot. Also learned that there is a very unique spider that lives out here. Yeah. If you don't like spiders, fortunately, and I don't, fortunately I never saw one. And fortunately he waited to the very end to tell you that there's these big wolf spiders out here. Big ones. So this hike it was roughly three miles and it was so much fun just walking around on the uh, Matanuska Glacier over here. Guide was super knowledgeable. Uh, so if you're not an Alaska resident it'll cost about a hundred dollars. Uh, if you are an Alaska resident it'll cost you 35. Here is our number one tip. Go early. <laughs> yeah. Or you'll be in a giant group. Oh my god. So we were in a group of only seven people total, plus the guide. And um, yeah, we, by the time we come back, some of the groups uh, had 28 people in them. So because of that, we were able to go a little bit further and uh, probably a little bit longer than uh, with a group of 28 people of all different uh, abilities and ages. So, so we went at 10. Yeah, you can do a 9 or a 10 o'clock yeah, and that would I, be ideal. I think if I had to do it over again, I might do a 9, but yeah. then I might not have this guide. So, you know, you could, yeah, exactly. It was pretty it awesome. It is. So if you're RVing, it's perfect because there's a couple places to stay, including the Matanuska Glacier uh, State Park, which was literally five minutes away, and there's a few private parks and some boondocking areas in the areas in the, in this area as well. Uh, so that way, you know, stay here the night before and take one of these earlier tours. Most people are coming from Anchorage, and it's you know kind of uh, quite a bit of drive to get out here from them. So yeah, go early, and take lots of photos, bring water, have sunscreen on because if it's a day like this, the sun's going to beat down on the snow and the ice and give you a nice little sunburn well you can fill up your water too while you're out there they will at least our guide um, showed us where we could get glacier water um, but don't rely on that and then the other thing is the roads are a bit bumpy rocky potholed but there are cars out here so people with uh, low riding cars made it oh uh, and even class c yeah, <laughs> yeah there's I a even couple see of class, class C's, C's. which actually the rental companies don't usually want you to bring your class no. c or rv or rental cars on these type of roads but you know we won't we don't. show the license plates right because <laughs> <laughs> it's about a three mile drive on some gnarly roads so just uh take it slow and i would highly recommend this is uh, this is kind of moved up in one of our top three to five things we've done on this one month road trip so with that, hope to see you in our next adventure. We're coming to a close here on this one, heading back to Talkeetna, but we've got another epic journey on the horizon. Yeah. As in next week. Truck camping, <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, see ya next time. And thanks for our guide. Do you remember his name? Uh, Jared. Thanks, Jared. You're awesome.